we're going to the forest. This might be a bit precarious, but we'll have a go. We all know Australia has kangaroos. We all know China has pandas. We all know the lions of Africa. But what about those animals that go under the radar? What about those animals that you wouldn't associate with that place? Animals so rare, only a handful of people see them. You may not know they are here, but they live among us. My name is Cookie, and this is Animal Anomalies UK, the Eurasian beaver. Alright everybody, how are you all doing and welcome along back to Animal Anomalies and this time we're in search of an animal that's native home is here but it hasn't been here for more than 400 years. Before we get into it, I just want to say a massive thank you to the members and patrons. Your continued support allows videos like this to happen so thank you so much. If you're not a member already or a patron and you fancy like supporting the channel then the links for that are in the description down below. But now... Let's talk about the beaver. The Eurasian beaver is widely regarded as an ecosystem engineer. It gets that name because it builds dams that in turn create pools, which then give life to a multitude of different animals and insects. Not only this, but they also improve the quality of water that filters through the dams and regulate the water flow too, which reduces flooding. Beavers are truly a remarkable animal, but until recently were actually extinct in the UK. They were hunted to extinction in the 16th century for their fur and castorium, which is found on the anal glands of the beaver and is used in food and perfume. Yes, that's right, food and perfume. But in recent years, a few beavers have been found in the wild of the UK and no one is sure how they got there. Scotland, however, have made efforts to reintroduce the beaver and they can be found in Napdale and on the River Tay. The reintroduction has been a success and therefore has become the first successful reintroduction of a wild animal in the UK. I won't be heading to Scotland for this episode though because of money, time, I don't have those, but I do know of a site in the Forest of Dean which houses beavers in quite a big enclosure, so I think that's where my journey is going to start. Now this is part of a reintroduction trial in the UK, so without further ado, we're going to the forest. So it's currently just after one o'clock, so the chances of us seeing one right now are as rare as, but um, we're gonna have a little walk around, see what the place is about, scope it out, see what's going on. Might get a sighting, we might not. I think it would be quite difficult, this one. You see all of this, they, they are in this one big enclosure, which goes all the way up there, all the way around here. I think it's like a mile and a half round. Something tells me that ain't for a beaver. Uh, someone's left their sock. Tell me what you've seen, Katie. A tree. A tree? A beaver's had a go at. A beaver's had a go at. And would you look at that? I gnaw that tree. <laughs> The interesting thing about beavers is when they build their dams, all the sediment from the river gets caught up in the dams and on the other side of the, the dam, the water becomes uh, a lot purer, clearer, uh, better quality. And that's one real big positive about having beavers uh, reintroduced back into Britain. The water quality is gonna get better. And not only with that, beavers provide a big uh, lifestyle change for a lot of animals as well. So there was a uh, research conducted on someone's farm uh, before beavers were there, there's 14 identifiable species, I think of invertebrates, I can't really remember right now, but after beavers were introduced, 41 identifi uh, identifiable um, species of invertebrates were then found. Beavers really, uh, they get this name called the ecological, e no, the ecosystem engineers, there we go, the ecosystem engineers, and um, they're just brilliant for the environment, so one of these things you want to have back in the country, it's going to do so much for the land and for people as well, because obviously they stop floods. That's another thing they do. Just mad animals, mate, they're crazy. There's a beaver dam right there, looking good. Very well engineered. So it's just gone past four o'clock. The light is turning to dark, and this is the best chance we've got of seeing one, although the chances are slim as they are. There's a bat. Do you like bats? two of them, yes. So we've got some bats flying around us, which is pretty cool. Well, obviously, we're looking for the beavers, but bats, bats are nice, like bats. 
so quick. Okay, so as you can tell, we didn't see any beavers. Didn't even get a sniff. Obviously, we uh, we saw the the marks that had left on the trees and stuff, but <laughs> like there was absolutely no way we were going to see them. It got too dark, too quick, and there was just no sign uh, of them coming out tonight. We saw their dam, and like I said, we saw the, the marks on the trees, but not to be. Unfortunately there were no beavers for us there, it was difficult to see and in winter there's not a lot of light to play with so our next attempt was going to come in the summer. And this time we're heading down to Devon for a one and done mission and what I mean by that is this is the last time we're going to be looking for beavers in the wild because it's a lot of money, it's a lot of resources out of the stuff that I want to be doing and uh, we haven't got that to give you know, it's quite a difficult thing so packing up we've planned we've researched we've done all we can do and hopefully now we can go down there and we've got the best chance of seeing a beaver so let's do it So I'm here in Devon, tucked away in a very secluded spot, surrounded by lakes and trees. And in about 10 minutes time, I'm gonna set off towards the River Otter in Otterton. Now I'll be joined with Stephen Hussey from the Devon Wildlife Trust. And hopefully with his guide, with his aid, we'll be able to find ourselves some beavers living wild and free here in England. Beavers will, will like at this time of year. They're looking to graze from this leafy stuff at the top. Here. Yeah. So often you'll find cut willow. Um, so what they're doing, they're trying to when they cut a tree down or cut a sapling like this one, is that they're not trying to fell the tree to get out of the wood. They're trying to get at this juicy stuff at the top here, so the bark and the leaves. You see here? Yeah. So this is beaver feeding signs. Yeah. I would not have looked at that and thought mm. that's beaver. So I would I would expect a tree trunk, yeah. orange. Yeah. You can find and... some of those. Yeah. But if you're a beaver, this is easy street for you. This yeah. is the easiest place probably in Europe to live. Yeah. It's, it's warm. This stuff grows year round. It's very green. There's lots to eat. You're not having to fight with, you know, semi-arctic conditions mm. or whatever. So you haven't got why chop down a, a big tree like that Don't when I can it, chop yeah. down a little one like this? You know? snack so, on your way, yeah. So yeah, so there's lots of food for them to eat. I know you've mentioned off camera, but to the camera, what are the odds of us trying to uh, find one today? Do you think we've got a good opportunity? Um, I think well, you've got as good an opportunity as anywhere in England to see a beaver tonight. Really? So yeah, so I mean, we hope. We live in hope, definitely. <laughs> Law of attraction. Uh, Stephen was a super interesting guy who was full of knowledge about beavers and we actually did a sit down chat about them in more detail which will be on my channel in full. For now though, we're taking that law of attraction and heading towards where Stephen knows there's a beaver lodge to be. So that's this area just across the river and this area is where they apparently eat food and groom themselves. As we slowly walk up on the area, there are two ladies there already who said they've seen a beaver 10 minutes before we get there so things were looking pretty good. So I decided to set up the cameras and within a few minutes I spotted something in the water. Dive down, 
was amazing for us to see beavers on day one of our trip. I didn't realize how easy that was going to be. I'd set up for a five day trek, had a camera trap ready and was prepared to go wading, but no, stand on a path for 10 minutes and I saw one. We didn't want it to end there though, so a couple days later we head back to the River Otter for some more beaver action. This might be a bit precarious, but we'll have a go. Okay. This might be good. Here we go then. This is my shot. Expect them to come out there, potentially go into there, and maybe down there as well. I could potentially go very, very close to a beaver because that over there, that's what, 10 meters away, if that. This time we had to wait a bit longer, but the beavers still popped out to say hello. We saw the mama beaver and her two youngsters gliding through the water elegantly. At one point, mum came back with food and one younger one decided he was going to steal what she got. She didn't notice the first time, but when she decided she was going to tuck in, the younger one came back and this time got a bit of a telling off. I'd picked a great position to get some shots and in this one you can hear mama gnawing away on the branches. It was such a privilege to be this close to an animal that's been extinct in the UK for over 400 years. But now they're making a return and hopefully more reintroductions can be carried out throughout the UK so that one day beavers will be in all rivers of the UK. Doing what they do, going about their business, creating dams, regulating water flow, giving life to others around them and bringing tourism to certain areas. There are less than 400 beavers in the UK right now and most of those are in Scotland. So to find these guys in England is absolutely amazing and what a fantastic animal anomaly. I just want to say a big thank you again to the members and patrons who make these videos possible. Stephen Hussey of the Devon Wildlife Trust for being such a gentleman who is full of knowledge. The chat with him will be out soon. And a big thank you to everyone watching. I love this series so much and it means a great deal to me that you're here watching it right now. Anyway though, I've been Cookie. This has been Animal Anomalies and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.